I supposed to be going to a wedding today? Why does my hair look like a hot mess? Um, babe's getting his hair cut. At the present moment, we've just had a scan. Oh, he can't close his car. Oh yeah, um, we just came from a scan. Because I have had many miscarriages in the past, um, I'm having to have early scans. So we just came from um, a scan where we saw the baby's heartbeat and I cried. I obviously cried to see that the little lizard has a heartbeat because it looks I'm sorry because it looked like a lizard but it has a heartbeat and it just made it real for me like I'm gonna be somebody's mother somebody chose me as their mama look at that <laughs> why I shall make your broad piccanini. <laughs> you said it. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the this buff, yeah. Woo! Put the light in there, yeah. You see how decent you look when you get a haircut? Show us your pussy. Show us your pussy, pussy. <laughs> so. Today I am 11 weeks and 5 days pregnant. It's been a bit rough, I'm not going to lie. I have been sick every day, nauseous every day. Just, I hate the smell of food, I hate the sight of food we'll be watching tv and i see those like food adverts and you know like usually it's like oh la la food it just looks like Ew, food <laughs> that's how i feel when i see food now um i keep getting told it's just because it's the first trimester after the first trimester you will feel better you will like food again so you okay mom Mom, she can't hear me. Um, my mother-in-law's in the kitchen. I feel dizzy every morning I wake up. Um, just really faint. My body's really weak. I'm being told that I need to. My iron intake needs to be a little higher than what I'm having now. Um, which is true, I'm really not having any iron supplements, so I guess that's why I'm feeling weak and just drained. So, because I'm peaking close to the end of my first trimester, I will see how I feel. After that, I have my appointment, my dating appointment, in a few days time. I haven't seen the baby since seven weeks. Um, and because of like my multiple miscarriages I'm a little bit worried um, but I'm leaving it all in God's hands so why worry when you can worship so I'm leaving it all in God's hands um, and I look forward to seeing my baby's development and growth in a couple of days so yeah good morning <laughs> good morning good morning the fact that I'm saying good morning everyone and y'all ain't gonna see this until probably next year. But yeah. So this morning um I am twelve weeks and two days, three days. And I'm planning on twelve weeks and I'm going for a scan this morning. This morning I'm going for my dating scan to I guess to estimate exactly when my due date is 
Um, they never know exactly when the kids come in, so you know, approximate it. Um, but yeah, so I'm in the bathroom and I'm getting ready. People are still asleep. <laughs> At some point, I need to stop calling them this. <laughs> But I'm still asleep. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. I get ready. Yeah. I have a long day today because um, I have a client. I have a hair booking for later on in the evening. I'm gonna go and see Cheryl because she's on some ringing. But yeah, I'm gonna go see. Cheryl. So Loxie and I went to get free shit, <laughs> free baby shit. <laughs> the packs are going through this journey with your friend. It was not planned. <laughs> it was God's plan. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel heavy. <laughs> oh, we just went and ate and. We're both waddling. We're oh, named too much. <laughs> this is not even the peak of the journey yet. I know. Just imagine. I will cry. Oh, <laughs> update on my hormones. <laughs> I cried real tears last night because McDonald's didn't have no eyes. Oh. Real, real tears, but it hurt my feelings. They didn't have no eyes. What's up, on your journey? Um, where your ball over? This is keeping my ears, and I'm crying over that. Oh, yeah, your morning sicknesses, yeah, her nausea, all of that. I was like, busting out my Until I reached six, when I was like about six weeks, when I found out, I was fine the whole time. And I'm like, the whole time I'm, I'm pregnant, you know, I was pregnant, and I was fine. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to reach seven weeks. Morning sickness is like whooping your ass. Yeah. I had a few breakdowns. Last night I called Asha to cry because. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I call to cry? I think I called you a few times to cry. I called Tabio to cry and complain. I complained about a bunch of shit that really doesn't make no sense, but it makes sense. Oh, ow, cramp. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we are a month apart. Yeah. Our due dates are a month apart. Imagine. Imagine. I'm a month later. And this is something we spoke about when we were teenagers. <laughs> like you know when you like you talk about stuff like this as teenagers, like, oh my god, we're gonna have kids together and blah 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 And you never actually think it's gonna happen. Exactly. Everything the way everything happened, happening. it happened like that for a specific reason. So I'm on my lunch break. Um, I am 17 weeks and four days. So what happened is they ground you. So you work on the ground in the office when you're pregnant. Are there airlines that you work from home? But not Ryanair. You have to come in. <laughs> oh, hello. So I'm at my 20 weeks getting an appointment and I'm annoyed because Rupert takes forever. Hi everyone, so um, today is Saturday the 15th of October. Babe and I are going to a friend of his daughter's second birthday party. Um, so we're all dolled up, all dressed up. And here's baby B sitting there I'm only um, about I'm only like 23 weeks um, sometimes I, f I think to myself wow someone chose me to be their mother are you sure <laughs> I'm joking um, but yeah oh he's coming back and it did yeah. okay let me put it in the birthday card look at me the day after the baby shower I am mash up I'm tired me and baby are just yes baby we're just looking at the uh, 
a gift and he's going to give me a bath. I'm coming. So he's gonna give me a warm bath. And, uh, yeah. I'm trying to get some sort of, I'm trying to capture her movement. Because when her father talks, or play music, she moves. Well, he's not talking anymore. She just kicked me off as I was pushing up oh, on no. her. <laughs> you so annoyed. Ah, babe, that feels weird. <laughs> evening good night one and all so i am leaning the sofa and i thought i'd give you guys a little bump update um i'm 30 weeks and five days today i am just laying in the sofa watching she oh she's kicking she's kicking me right there so hello lady um so oh yeah, she just kicked again and just moved. I don't know what she's doing in there. But yeah, I've put my Christmas trees, my Christmas trees behind me. It's not finished yet. Um, and I've that around the parameter of the living room. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. I've been watching birth in the vlogs. <laughs> And I'm just praying for a safe and positive birthing experience because I hear so many stories that black women have negative birthing, well, mostly black women have negative birthing experiences because, um, you know, our other counterparts believe that we can handle more pain than they can. Um, so apparently we're really pushed. Um, and we're not, you know, our concerns are not taken that seriously, which is, you know, kind of scary to think about. But I know that God is with me. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be just fine. We're gonna have a positive birthing experience. She's going to be healthy and happy. My birth will be natural and as painless as possible. <laughs> Sorry, I just yawned. So, Terry Hyde. And, um, you know, nothing will be wrong with me and nothing will be wrong with her. So, we're good. Hi, everyone. It is... December 11th um, it's just started raining in London in England um, we've stopped over on the curb because um, some lady's car skidded off the road so babe decided that he's gonna go and help he's always trying to play hero bless his cotton socks But yeah, um, I am 32 weeks today. He's done it. He's gonna cast, he's gonna cast, take it easy. Come, my little hero. He's always trying to help um, people. I remember there was one time we were driving together and he um, helped a man from jumping off. A bridge to kill himself. She has a nice car though. Ooh. It's a rear wheel drive. What? She 
It looked like nobody else was going to stop for her still, like, help her. Look, look, she's so telling her easy on the gas, but she's not going easy on the gas. Oh wow, she's driving sideways. Yeah, because she's not easy on the gas, just literally just... Literally just let it roll. Look, she's, she's going to skid again, look. So I am at Tavia's house um, in her mother's bed because I am 32, 33 weeks, 33 weeks tomorrow. I am heavy and I cannot just, I cannot handle my own weight. I cannot handle my own weight. I'm heavy, I'm tired, I'm over it. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't pour it like I used to. So, I'm chilling. I hope they don't think I'm some sort of like party pooper or, you know, lame person. I just, I'm tired, I'm tired. I can't deal with this no more. I'm tired. Hi everyone, so, today I am 36 weeks in ever see I don't know but I'm 37 weeks tomorrow which means a full term which means she can come anytime 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 and I can't wait um, I am going to my friend's uh, son's like first birthday party um so I need to I need to like get out of the house because I'm already like two hours late and I don't want to like go and like miss everything so oh, I don't know if I'll continue to vlog but we'll see just finished our shoot so you glimpse of the studio and we're not going to go through our bedtimes. Hi everyone. So, it is my sister's 23rd birthday. And I am getting ready to go out with her. I am 38 weeks exact today. So, I am 38 weeks pregnant on the day of my sister's birthday. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> And I'm tired. <laughs> I'm at my mum's house. Um, I'm literally just doing my makeup and eating some crackers. But yeah, I thought I'd update you guys quickly before I forget. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Good Sunday. Um, we are on our way to church. Look at the bump. I'm 39 weeks today and she still hasn't made an appearance. Yeah. Really? Hopefully she's getting out today. Today I'm 40 weeks throughout the hospital because I'm feeling the pain. I'm feeling the pain. I'm feeling, feeling, feeling the pain. I am in severe pain. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I've got here my okra water in like in coconut water. So I've cut up some okra inside coconut water. I've been told a few times to try this to induce labor because I am nearly 41 weeks now. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to induce labor. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that now, but I'm tired. <laughs> so I just came back recently from seeing Cheryl in the hospital. Um, because for those who don't already know, she's also pregnant. We are six weeks, five weeks apart. 
something like that um um but she is she hasn't given birth yet she's okay um you know some stuff's been going on and she just wanted to get checked out but yeah anyway she suggested and a couple of people even suggested okra water and i've even seen it all over tiktok we know that tiktok is a it's a new google <laughs> i have um a stretch and sweep um or you can call it a cervical sweep or you can call it there's another name for it but she's gonna shove her hand up me nan <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah separating the membrane so we're gonna we have an appointment for that tomorrow to try and kickstart labor as well so even if this doesn't work work is still good for you anyway so I'll, I'll let you guys know so um i just came back from my appointment um at the with the midwife and i had a stretch and sweep my second one um and she is still not ready to exit my non well i'm five days overdue now i had a stretch and sweep on my due date because i was in pain actually and i just like do you wanna just do one um and she said that my cervix was closed and now I'm going to go see my midwife um, and she's like yeah you're not going into labour at all tonight like it's not looking favourable for you and I'm thinking oh. but anything can happen God is able so let's watch let's watch and see what happens Shall we, madam? You're very comfortable in there, and I don't know what I've done to make you so comfortable. <sighs> but you need to just get out of me now. Right, I finished in my hair. It's now one thirty in the afternoon. I'm an, and I'm just about to have something to eat because I got up about um ten a.m. or eleven a.m. to wash my hair and do my hair. I'm hoping I give birth tonight. You know, like you know tomorrow morning that kind of stuff um i'm hoping that's what god's plan is at this moment i'm really anxious about it but i've been feeling a little uh, tmi a little liquid come in and i'm hoping that my water is slowly breaking and just so yeah let's see how the day progresses on um my partner's mum is coming back um from Ghana. She's gonna come back and just be here to support me with the baby, which is, is so good. I am so happy that she's coming back because obviously she doesn't live here. She lives back home, but she's flying back. So yeah, I will get the support that I need. Uh, but yeah, let's see how this day progresses on. I'm talking a bunch of stuff now. Hi everyone. So, I am 41 weeks and three days, I think, and four days. I can't even remember. <coughs> Sorry, that noise was the breast pump. I was told by my midwife to um, try um pumping and expressing milk because that helps with the induction of labour because I'm still pregnant <coughs> I feel like I've been pregnant for forever um, I've been having contractions for three days though which has been extremely painful but she, there is no sign oh here's one So, I cannot wait for this pregnancy to be over. I look like a dumpling. <sighs> so, my um, 
contractions are now six minutes apart. Um, I've called them and they I've called um my midwife, the um, labour ward, whatever. Anyway, I've called them and they said they're waiting for me to be at least three minutes apart before I can be called in. So I've been suffering. <laughs> Imagine not being able to sleep because every six minutes you have contractions. Every six minutes for the past five days. Well, it started off at 30 minutes, then 20 minutes, then 15, then 10. Now it's six. Just press play, mum. Yeah, just press play. My mother in law's here. She's making something for me to eat. While I'm on something, uh, pineapple. Do you need help, Mum? Been here since three AM. The people them so asleep. And I'm tired. I'm gonna sit here and see it. They've given me some sort of gel to induce labor because cervix is still closed my water is broke but I didn't know anyway I'm trusting God still I have people that love and care for me that are praying for me and I am praying for myself and I am trusting God so So I'll come back when I have an update or when I have the baby in my hand. <laughs>